What's going on everybody? Dennis the Menace here with Dig Life Crisis. Welcome back to the channel. Alright, today we have something very, very special planned. Uh, I have with me here this ginormous agatized coral head that I found the other day, a uh, diving uh, spot that we hit. And uh, it is gargantuan and I can't cut it on my saw. So I came over here to Ray's house to cut it on his big boy saw. He's got a 24 inch saw that we're going to cut this thing open, but check this thing out real quick, man. This thing is just epic. It's the biggest one I've ever seen, let alone found. But, uh, hoping this thing's going to have some really good stuff inside. Check this out. Look at this thing, man. You can see how big it is compared to my hand. It's just a monster. It's really nice polyps on the outside. You can see the agate showing. Really crazy some blue on the outside there super super promising this thing is just it's like a dinosaur egg buzz wants to play uh the species of this is montestrella uh, it's 22 to 25 million years old look at the preservation of the coral polyps beautiful beautiful piece unbelievable definitely find of a lifetime and i'm going to cut this thing just like this just stand it up here right down the middle right down the middle there and hoping that there's some goodies in there uh shake it around you can definitely hear it's got water in it it's loaded with water so let's get this thing on the saw and let's get the show on the road everybody's been begging me to to show you know whenever we cut it and they've been asking every day you know if we've cut it yet so let's get this thing on the saw this thing's a beast i'm ready to see what it is i've had it for like five six days and it's just been taunting me looking all sexy it's ready let's get it going all right we got this bad boy in the saw got the big old 24 inch blade big boy saw and it is locked into the carriage there so we're gonna get it going you gonna lock it down Ray oh. we're gonna turn the oil on oh yeah look at that oh clean oil huh <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna close the lid there she goes. Can't see in there. Oh, that's dirty. All right. All right. She's done. Turn that off. Let the saw blade stop spinning for a second. Unplug the oil pump. Drum roll. Here we go. You guys have seen it. First, with me, what do we got here? Well, it's several pockets. That's for sure. Looks like it's blue inside. I like the thick agate. I wish it was a solid pocket, but hey, you know. You can't get everything you want. This other side will probably look similar. Um, I'm actually going to put this thing on there and let it cut that little piece off right there. And then I'm going to pressure wash it and I will be back. But crazy. Alright, got it on the rack here. It's got several pockets. Super crazy in there, but I'm going to pressure wash all this stuff off of it. It's, it's really wild in there, but clearish black agate, like smoky agate, but pressure wash it and i will check back in in a second after i clean it up all right so i pressure washed the entire coral head uh two things i came to a realization one is i probably should have put an apron on because i definitely me and ray both just took a shower out here with that stuff blasting out of the the pocket or whatever and going all over us i mean i'm soaked so uh anyway two you're not going to believe this. Uh, I was 
I wouldn't say I'm let down, but I wasn't as excited about it not being a solid open pocket, uh, but you know, it was being uh, solid in the center. But every pocket in this coral head is Druzy. <laughs> Druzy crystals. Check this thing out. I'm gonna show you right now, and then I'm gonna show it one more time when it's dry. I'm gonna put it on the sun here and uh, and let you see it all sparkly at the end of the day, probably because it's gonna take a while for this thing to to dry out. So check this thing out. I'm gonna swing this thing around real quick. You're not gonna believe it. Unreal. All right. So we got the two halves right here. Really funky colors in there. Kind of a clearish golden agate really crazy looking pocket goes deep down inside there it sucks the way they formed because the pocket goes way in here these two actually connect but man it's got blue and white and just unbelievable unbelievable colors you can actually kind of see the druzy there sparkling already where it's been drying out but Unreal colors. Like I said, it's gonna have to it's gonna have to dry some, but the blues and this one's got white and blue. Let's see if I can hold it up here and show you a little better. This one's got white. All, all this is druzy. All of it is druzy. It's got white, it's got a couple columns in there, a little stalactite in there, a little guy. But just multiple pockets. Of this gold kind of translucent agate. Golden blue. I mean, unbelievable. But, like I said, it's uh, solid in the middle. Kind of sucked. It would have been nice if that would have been one big pocket. But this is still unbelievable. I don't even know what this thing would be worth. But I'll tell you what. The fact that it's Jersey definitely spiced it back up a little bit. Even though it's not completely hollow. But it does have some really wild formations going in there. But... Let me dry this thing out in the sun, and I will get back to you. Alright, here it is, all dried out. While this is dry, you can really see the druzy. Look at those sparkles in there. That gold next to the blue and the white. Looks like a snowflake pattern in there. Looks in insane I mean the camera can't get it all you definitely see more if you're here in person looking at it but you can see the druzy all down in there the white druzy looks amazing just each pocket loaded loaded with the crystals So has a little bit of water left in it. I mean, the banding. Let me see if I can wet it. The banding on this thing and the depth. I wish I could show the depth. You know, the camera doesn't pick up depth really well. The banding on this thing is going to look crazy. It's going to look insane in UV light. See some of the coral polyps there in the agate. This came out really cool looking. But man. Druzy's just unbelievable. It's like a column here. It's kind of hard to show. It's where a stalactite actually made its way all the way down there. And it connected and formed like a column. So crazy. It's like the cave of wonders. <laughs> a little stalactite down there too, a little white one. That's cool looking. Unbelievable. Uh, that is it, man. The outside looks amazing on this thing. I really, really pressure washed it really good. <clears throat> There's a lot of clay stuck in the coral polyps. Be easy with this thing here. This one looks really good. I'm told that this blue 
and white on the outside of this is actually a form of opal so that was really cool to learn I'm not really uh, too scientific with everything so I don't, I don't really know the details on all that but I'm told that this is a, uh, a form of opal so that's really cool but super super wild piece that thing is amazing wish it was a whole pocket but you know what if it was a whole pocket I, I would venture to say that it wouldn't look half as good as it does with that druzy so the druzy multi pocket is definitely better in my eyes so but that is definitely super super killer find if you ask me I will be polishing that thing soon. It'll probably take me about four hours to polish those two halves at least. The thing is gigantic. Alright, well that is it for this video today. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this. Like I said, man, people have been begging. <laughs> They've been begging me to come over here and cut this coral head. Uh, so they can see what kind of treasure was inside. But uh, super crazy, man. It definitely... Definitely surprised me. I told Ray this morning. I said, man, I looked at it last night with a light on my phone. I saw some little smart, some sparkly stuff on the outside. I said, you know, I don't know. I don't want to get my hopes up. It may have just been little tiny grains of sand or something that had collected around that, that little pinhole that was in the bottom of it. So, you know, you never want to get your hopes up. But anyway, uh, stay tuned. We're going to be doing a lot more diving soon. I just got a coupon code. Uh, with the uh, dive blue company that makes the Nemo and the Nomad that I dive for so I'm going to have a coupon code that anybody all you people message me all the time asking me a million questions about these Nemos if you buy them and use my coupon code you're going to get a discount and uh, I believe they said some free goodies whatever they have you know excess of or whatever uh, you're going to get some free stuff so I will have the link for that in probably the dive video that I get out soon uh, from where I was hunting the shark seat the other day if people follow me on facebook uh you'll see way more stuff than i post here because i'm always busy hunting it's easy to make a post uh it's easier to make a post on facebook or something to post in the in the groups than to uh make a video and edit it and put it on here so but i swear i promise there's gonna be more videos soon i got like five videos i have footage for that i have to get out so stay tuned for the next one uh keep your eyes open for that link for the nemos and uh i will catch you guys in the next video so i hope you enjoyed that i did and now i better get to polishing so until next time see y'all later peace